Well, hello, hello, hello. Oh my God, we're gonna do an update. Haven't done one of these in a long fucking time. A lot has changed. Um, it seems like every time it's like, ah, oh, you should probably do an update for your little fucking memoirs. You know, and it's like, oh, well, I'll wait till I get this project finished. And then that project gets done and another one happens at the same time where that one's finishing and another one begins and so forth and so on. But as far as updates, um, as you can see, I am in a shop. Uh, and there's the purple pea. And this is where we work now. This is where we do our. This is where we do our wrench turning business. I have a mechanic now, that, <laughs> so I don't have to scratch my head and fucking try and figure this out as I run water and run winch truck and keep. Uh, yeah. And so that's having a mechanic is just like I can't even. It's crazy. It's great. It's great. Because I got six trucks now. I got, f yeah, five, five water trucks, and then I have a winch truck. Um, let's see. Me and Crude secured a direct contract with one of the oil companies up here, um, which is, that's a fucking big deal. It really is. Uh, whatever. So... What that means is I don't have to worry about getting work from another trucking company who has the direct contract. I am I am the trucking company with the direct. So now other smaller, eh, not smaller, but other trucking companies uh, look to me for work, leasers and um, and today is the first day that I haven't had any trucks running in, I don't remember, I mean, so that's saying maybe, maybe, maybe a couple months, maybe, I will say. And it's not, I'm not big guy by any means. When I say trucks running, I mean one or two. We've had some jobs where I've had up to, you know, 10 12 trucks running, you know, but th that's, that's five, five trucks, 24 hours a day. So five trucks a day, five trucks a night, right? 10, you know, and then and if there's six, then that's 12. Um, so we've had a few of those jobs and um, now we have three, three service rigs for Kraken, which that's all they have, three 24 hour rigs and um, we, we service them all. If I had more energy in me, or another me, uh, I would be running the winch for all the rig moves. Um, I'm certainly, they would certainly use me. It's just, I, I just, I can't, I can't do it. It's just not physically possible. I, I get them out of pinches and, and they're grateful for that when, can't get done in a conventional fashion for whatever reason uh, I can step in and, and wing it to get them out of a jam so so that's good um, let's see I'm getting ready for winter uh, winter is when it really starts heating up and that's probably because maybe less trucks uh, but the work stays the same and that's the winners really when you establish your connections and, and what you're going to be doing for the rest of the year. I mean, um, it was last winter that that I got okay to get this direct contract. So um, it is a nightmare. It is a challenge. Uh, having the winch truck is going to be very helpful because I'm going to be having obviously many trucks running and I'll have leasers that are running under me so it's inevitable that trucks are going to be sliding off the road and 
all that good stuff and having a winch truck is just basically like having a gigantic tow truck or a wrecker for big trucks you just you can yank them out and if a guy wants to then I could put it out there and then when other people go off the road because when storms hit trucks are fucking all over the place and there's only a couple wreckers that can pull them out so basically guys in a ditch Good luck on finding someone to get you out. So, if, if, I hope, I hope we're not slow to where I'm doing that. But, whatever it is, it is an option. It is an option. Uh, let, me, let me see here. Let me show you guys the new acquisition. This is the Mamba. She is a 2000 W900. These people fucking got it all murdered out, but I am not a fan of all of that. I am think it's fucking great that I have a beautiful black canvas that's not all fucked up. So the chrome will look great. It has a new rebuilt cat in it. Uh, I just got done rebuilding this trailer. There's some of the little fucking nifties that I do. And that's a fucking nice trailer. Uh, and it is cold. Got cold all of a sudden. Got our first storm. That was great. Uh, I don't know how cold it is, but it's fucking felt like zero last night. Uh, I even have an electric fucking hoodie and it was still cold um still live in the same place some things have worked out some things haven't and i think that's just part of the whole fucking deal um i try not to reflect too much because that's in the past that's done i try and just focus on what needs to be done um and I think we're doing pretty well, pretty well. We, um, it's, I'm still out in the field. I don't give a shit how many trucks I get, how many trucks I have. I don't think that'll be changing anytime soon because crazy as it sounds, I like the shit. I love the 24 hour, I love the challenge. Um, and, and most of the people that I work with out in the field they're good people so it's really just yeah it's just helping helping people out you just happen to get fucking paid ridiculous amounts of money doing it so yeah i i think it's a win-win and uh i give it my best and and uh that's what's great about the bakken no other place no other place can a guy come up with nothing zero just ambition ambition and and motivated and the equation is really simple here really simple if you want more you do more it's as simple as that and uh yeah it's crazy to think i came up here in 2019 in a rental car never been in oil fields I did have I did have a commercial license. That's all I had, and um, yeah, we even had fucking COVID through that, and uh, yeah, now I'm sitting at. I mean, I don't. I was gonna say six trucks, but I have some nice equipment. I love my fucking truck. I mean, come on. Purple pee. I mean, even with the fucking hood up. That's a sexy bitch. Right? And then you got the fucking, the yellow pee. That's a fucking monster. And the mamba's gonna be fucking off the fucking hook. Look at that. I mean, come on. How can you fucking not love that sexy bitch? And we just ordered two brand new 2024 Ace 165 VAT trailers, custom paint, 
custom fucking wheels. And I can't wait to fucking throw some artwork on them to fucking match some of my trucks. And that'll give us five heavy running bitches. Yeah, heavy for me. I don't like going over a certain amount, but that'll be good, good running shit. And, and uh, we have a lot of work that comes up for bid at this time of year, so I'm um, planning on it. I'm prepping for it. By any means, am I guaranteed a damn thing? Because as I said, it's bid. You got to bid it, and they have to so, so. Yeah, there's other trucking companies uh, that are just as capable, if not more capable, because they're more fucking established, have more equipment, more personnel. Uh, basically, they have fucking more of everything because because they've been doing it longer. The only thing I have is um, I probably have more more drive, I would say, and and uh, maybe maybe I don't. Know. At the end, it doesn't matter. We'll put bids in, and we'll see what happens. I know there should be a shit ton of work to be bid on, so I would think that I should manage at least a route or two on top of the three rigs that we service now. Because like I say, today is the first day that I haven't had at least one truck running, and... I can't remember. Don't, can't remember. I know mom finally came up to visit and she came in the middle of a fucking pretty big project. Pretty big job. So she got to get a first hand taste of what exactly I do up here in the Bakken. Anyway, holy shit, 12 minutes. Okay, so that's where we're at and um, when uh, Mamba is done, I will probably do an update with that because those trailers should be coming about the same time. So I'll probably do an update with the Mamba hooked up to a new trailer. And that's where we'll go. Okay? Crew, you got Booga Booga? Is it Booga Boogas? Booga Booga Booga. Okay. Mm.